Look how good Poop Turd looks right now. So good. Oh, ah. oh. oh that's right. So I'm driving and every single light on my dash just came on. That feels okay. It's a little sketchy. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the car and see if she turns back on now that I've gotten to Rob's. Let's also see if that clears the codes. Oh, they're still there. I've been having a few hiccups with the pre pre. I've been reading on the Prius forums that whenever a battery is going out, usually it does some funky electrical stuff. So I'm hoping that I just need to replace the battery. We'll find out later if the car doesn't start. I sure hope I brought the key that's cut. I knew this was gonna happen. There's definitely something up with the pre pre. Fun fact, last time I went snowboarding in Mammoth, I drove the Pre-Pre, parked her, locked her, went riding, came back to a very faint alarm. The alarm had been going off all day that it killed the battery, and I wasn't allowed in the car. Why it went off, I don't know, but we had to jump start the car, and I'm feeling, a strong feeling, the battery's going out. But honestly, it is the least of my concern. I'm here to work on the car I actually care about today. After I eat my meal prep of steak and potatoes. All right, I know I said I didn't really care about the Pre-Pre. She does have a little special spot in my heart, but she's kind of being obnoxious right now and not letting us work on, on, uh, can I tell you guys, I named the S14 Envy because I was like, oh, it's the non-vegetarian S14 because like she just eats all the meat, like tires. And I was like, um, non-vegetarian is too long. So I was thinking NV. I was like, oh, Envy, like E-N-V-Y. That's a cool name. Ties back to the non-vegetarian thing. I dig it. That aside, I think Pri Pri is a little bit jealous of Envy. Uh, that's uh, that's ironic. I'm gonna pull her out. We're just gonna test the battery real quick and maybe leave it charging in order to get this car to stop beeping right now. Huh. So she's showing charged, but who knows? Who knows? <laughs> I just ate a very crummy lunch. No one's judging you. Or the food I'm judging myself. <laughs> oh, I have a new Japanese suit. Okay. Let me show you. You're not gonna film me change. Oh, you're gonna put it on right now. <laughs> yeah. You have food in your teeth, by the way. I just ate. <laughs> so it might actually be the battery. We came back outside with this, and it's at 16 volts right now. Sick. We're gonna see. It's got another 20 minutes. <laughs> POA93, inverter cooling system performance. Uh-oh, the flux capacitor is out. Oh no, it's not inverting the coolant, cooling into performance. <laughs> no wonder this thing's no so slow. No wonder it's slow as crap. <laughs> All right, we will deal with the Prius later, but what's going on guys? Welcome back to the vlog. I'm here with Roberto. Sick onesie. It's my work attire. It's a ponytail time, PTT time. This is onesie -Z time. <laughs> onesie. I like it. No butt crack. <laughs> Nothing. Bend and snap. <laughs> on that note, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and drain the fluids on the car, specifically the oil, and cut open the filter and see if there's any metal shavings. And look, we have a leak. Oh, look at that. There's a leak. The trans. Hopefully it's gonna remain sealed. Yeah. That's brand new. Would explain a lot of things. Yeah, but usually even if it's good, if the crankcase isn't breathing properly. Yeah then it over pressurizes the crankcase and the only place it can go is out front main seal, rear main seal, and we've already replaced front main seal. We did replace the front main seal. I don't know if I filmed it because it was leaking, so that would actually make sense. We're gonna get a lot done today. Today is a, is a grand type of day, but first I gotta put my onesie on too. <laughs> Photo tail time. <laughs> All right, got a light and another light. We're gonna shine on the oil streaming down to see if we see any reflective stuff. None, none whatsoever. There's none on the magnetic plug. Yeah, I guess we're in good that's, shape. That's a good sign so far. Yeah. Doesn't appear to be any metal shavings. I do still wanna just cut open the filter to cut open the filter. It's probably just the leak issue that's causing bad pressurization. We don't know yet. <laughs> You know, if it were a Fram oil filter, we could just use our hands. God bless America. I feel super JDM wearing this like Japanese onesie pulling your fan and filter. <laughs> could you get the extended lug stud on the 
<laughs> it's just going faster and faster. Now my arm is gonna get my clothes. <laughs> yep, it's it's oily. So this is gonna be my first time cutting open a filter like the proper way, not just using a saw. <laughs> and while I do this, Rob, you gonna start taking off the oil pan? Yep. I'm just I'm texting. <laughs> He's on Tinder right now. That's cool. Huh. <laughs> That's all you have to say. The man with so much to say. <laughs> so Rob just grabbed our oil inspection tray. It was the lid to my meal prep. And we are going to very professionally pour the oil on the top of it, put a light underneath, and see if we see any uh, shavings. I definitely don't see any metal shavings in that. Do you? You see a little bit where I, I think I dropped those some teriyaki like, sauce. Yes, yeah, so those look like <laughs> bubbles. <laughs> it might be a little blown out on the camera. There's a couple little spots where it looks like water's mixed with oil. Wait, is this metal? I think that's a piece of metal. I mean, I could, this is so little, I personally don't see being a big deal. Well, but... it really is. Like, there's not a lot. Yeah, we're really hunting for so it right now. <laughs> all brand new parts. It's uh, pretty common. The filter looks good. I don't see any metal in this. There's a little soot. It's not metal. I mean, it's just the filter. No, it looks good. Yeah. All right, where are you at with this? Underneath it. <laughs> <laughs> We're ready to uh, suspend the motor so we can do what you suggested and drop the cross member. You wear safety glasses? No. Why? Do you need eye flush or are you just gonna wipe it out? Now a quick commercial break to put on some protective eyewear. All right, two bolts shy of pulling the pan. We're gonna hoist it up, get everything out of there, and then we're gonna check that O-ring in the pickup tube that everyone's like, that's the one they need to check in the car. No reverber. No We're also gonna check the oil pump. So it's the drain tube. The pickup right. tube? Yeah, I was trying to get it. <laughs> Get out of there. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Rob's up. Oh, I just got soaked. This thing's pretty thick. It didn't even leak through. I'm actually rather impressed. Thanks to him. Thank you. <laughs> so Kelly here is Rob's friend visiting from Arizona, and he was just in Japan and got these super sick onesies, and that's why we're all matching right now. Um, oh, look at that. Can you do the splits, though? Ooh. We have a problem. The drain tube is clogged, but I don't oh. know with what. I mean, sorry, the pickup pick tube. tube yeah. The pickup tube is it's clogged. Can I see that? So we need to actually take this off. What do you think that is? Yeah, it crumbles. Look. Yeah. It crumbles. Gasket. Yeah, well. It's it's rocky. Okay. No wonder it didn't even make it to the filter. I need to take up this take off this whole pickup tube. I yeah. need a, I need a 12 and a 10. You guys can't see here, but it's just full. Like, yeah, that's here, clogging. Panel, just like that. Yeah, you guys see that? Check the O-ring in the pickup tube, they said. We need to find out what it is, because the yeah. rest of it looks clean. What in the world could that be? By first glance, some old Felpro head gasket. The, you remember oh, all that stuff? Oh, yeah. If any of it really got down when we were trying but to we scrape it so off. we were so careful. We were. We even but, vacuumed like everything. That, this is. That's, yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah, look at all that. Dude, that is full. Look at this, this is just chunks. <laughs> look at that. Rob found a magnet, as you guys can hear him playing with it in the background. We're gonna see if these are metal shavings. We are leaning towards not. But regardless, this is not a good thing to find. The way you're sprawled out right now. <laughs> oh, are you, are you metal? I don't know. <laughs> no. Calm down. <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> During assembly, we were extremely careful about plugging up the ports and the heads and like making sure that like everything was clean. We even vacuumed, like we were being extremely cautious. This amount of residue, whatever it may be, I have no idea where it came from. We're thinking that it's the old head gasket, but. This is like Look. dirt dirt and rocks. Yeah. Like... This was all in the oil pickup. Look, none of it's. What the f is this? 
All right, so I cleaned one piece off. Can you break it in half? Yeah, I think so. Oh yeah, that broke easily. I think it might have just compressed because there's a lot of fiber in this. So this could be one of two things. Either something was stuck in your baffling mm -hmm. of your oil pan for a while and it cleared it out. No. I have no Not idea. Not possible. I'm at a loss. I mean, this is too much to come this from. This is a lot. I mean, it's brand new valve covers. Yeah. Heads were gone through, all the gaskets on the motor. I mean, I would think it's like a filter coming apart, but the filter looks fine. I have no idea what this is. I don't even know what it could be. We're going to put it in a vial and send it to Blackstone and get them to tell us what it is. I'm just glad we pulled the pan and caught this well, and, was, and we- that, that was bad. That was like all the way full. Like even stuffed in the back. Like we both made the decision that we didn't want to continue to drive the car because of how loud it was without at least having a gauge or something in order to read what the oil pressure is at. It should have been, but I mean, come on, it's heads in a cam. We're gonna do it later. Everything, we thought it was fine. It dynoed perfect. Do you think it has anything to do with the white smoke during dyno? No. I don't know. I'm just thinking of everything right now. Like it doesn't blow white smoke anymore no, at doesn't. all. We're, we're never. It doesn't Maybe burn. It, it, can't. it doesn't. It doesn't burn coolant. It doesn't burn yeah. any fluid. It doesn't burn oil even. Yeah, I mean, so, we would have. Uh, Eric would have noticed the loss of oil pressure yeah. when he was dynoing it. Was, he put the gauges on everything, yeah. and we had good oil pressure, but we knew we needed one in the car. We, we knew we needed one in the car, but honestly, the job needed to be done fast. I'm not saying we skipped anything because we were very careful about everything, but when it read great on the dyno, we're like, okay, this is okay for one, maybe two races. In the meantime, we'll get something proper. It looks like dirt. It has fiber in it. There's no metal in it, and it breaks down. Like it crumbles. Yeah, like I can keep breaking this in half. Yeah, but it's hard. It feels it's like a rock. Hard, yeah. I can go over everything, nothing sticks to it. Yeah. Fortunately, I think we caught it in time before it did any severe damage. I think we were really testing our luck with how much we were pushing her. It doesn't look like anything. Like, what the f could it be? Just like a piece of hair. Yeah, right like. So we're gonna pull off the baffle and start in the pan because we think we see some chunks in there. We have a couple of options and that's just slap her back together and blow her and we're probably gonna waste about like a thousand dollars because we're gonna shoot something through the block and damage, you know, other components while we're at it. Or, you know, we can do things right, get the car built to the bottom end and ready to drive sooner. We should have just went through the whole thing. Yeah. But once again, the time constraints, right? Like yeah. we wanted to make, and you guys will know soon what those time restraints were. What I'm leaning towards is, you know, maybe we have Greg at Millennium Motorsports rebuild the bottom end and I'll get to learn about that. Um, but we're, we're trying to figure out what our next step is. But first, let's pull this out. Let's see what's in it. Send out this material and see what the hell it is. Why is the oil two different colors? <laughs> oh yeah, don't worry, I just caught it. It looks like there's something else mixed with the oil. Does it not? It's like poopy color. Well, we were worried originally about a head gasket and then that went away. So it could have been some water. Would water turn the blue oil? Gray? Yeah. Yes. I would, okay. This is so weird. Maybe that was just always there. That's what I'm saying. I thought it was caught in the baffle. I had Sean help me clean the pan and he wiped it all out and did everything, but he never took out the baffle because it's kind of a I've cleaned this previously, but I've never looked up inside the pickup. Yeah, I don't know actually. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna send some out. Yeah, and see what it is. So let's get some good sample containers. Why do I feel like I end up using meal prep boxes? <laughs> no, I think that we should probably go to... Jay's, I mean, get some dinner, get a to-go cup while we're at it. <laughs> ew, ew, ew. I wanna get vials. So we're gonna take that for them to sample that. And some oil. And then we're gonna have, since this was clean, before, yeah, we're gonna send them some oil. We have some in the oil filter over there. Cool, and then I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to decide what I wanna do. We got very lucky that this didn't blow the engine. We're like really lucky that we didn't starve it completely of oil and send it to, to the, the moon. moon. <laughs> I wish I could say that was planned, but it wasn't. <laughs> so I picked some out. Listen, it sounds like rocks. It's not silicone. Watch, it's like breadcrumbs or something stupid. I don't know. It's gonna be like wheat thins or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard as a rock, but it breaks, but it's not shiny and magnetic, it but it doesn't you, feel like, like rubber. You drop it, it's hard. Yeah, like you can, rock, but you can literally like break your nail into it and break it. There's fiber in there. I would say it looks like mud. Yeah. The oil came out. What if someone just took a shit? <laughs> 
Like, what did you eat, bro? I would like the country fried steak dinner, please. Where are we right now? We're the best place in Rosamond, the best kept secret when you're at Willow Springs International Raceway. This Jay's Hideaway used to be Crazy Auto, still here on Diamond Street. East side of the freeway, come here, be square. Had a lovely dinner, we are now back to the shop. I am going to take these two sample cups, one of oil, one of the mysterious debris we found. Which one did you wrap? I wrapped the pretty looking one. <laughs> oh. Okay. But I'm gonna get out of here, I have <laughs> a long drive heading home. Rob and Kelly are gonna put the pan back on. Envy, I didn't tell you, her name is Envy now. You don't know like why? two letters or E-N-V-Y? Well, it's really E-N-V-Y, but it is derived from two letters, NV, Envy, because it's non-vegetarian. So it was NV, and I was like, oh, Envy's a name. Oh, non-vegetarian. Yeah. Oh, oh. NV. Yeah, um, but only the real OGs know where that name originated from. <laughs> Rob and Kelly are gonna put the pan on her. I'm gonna get this tested and then we're gonna figure out a game plan from there. Are you gonna keep the jumpsuit here or are you taking it home? I'm taking this home. Drake and Josh, hug me, brother! <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, are we gonna do a little synchronized dance before you go? Should we? <laughs> Oh, yeah. What? Eat crew! We out! We out! <laughs> Woo <-hoo. laughs> I just got home. Today was super weird. I'm gonna go full detective on this and I'm gonna take it and go get those samples tested and see what the hell that could be, but really strange. These are covert covers. A fan actually sent me one of these way back in the day when I first started vlogging and I have been running it on my S14 ever since. And I low-key loved it. This is a perfect cover. Look at that. Front and back of the S13, front and back of the Subaru, and the back for the S14. So now I'm about to match on all my cars, Harrison from Covert Covers. Thank you so much, you guys. I will put his information in the description below. This looks great. <laughs> You're kidding me. Someone just sent me a stuffed Shiva. Who just sent me a stuffed Shiva? Amelia, not car parts, but thought this would make you smile. Next time you go to Japan, you won't need to awkwardly hug strangers' dogs. <laughs> Love the channel, you can for live out comment day. Rob from Canada. Rob from Canada, thank you so much. Can I tell you guys a secret? By the time this video comes out, it may have already happened, but I'm going to a Shiba meet and greet without a Shiba. <laughs> Squeak. It's like a little Shiba get together in LA where you go on a hike, and I'm gonna go <laughs> without a dog so I can just pet the dogs and hang out. But now I have a Shiba, curly tail and all. Oh my God. <laughs> it's crazy how much you guys know my obsession with Shiba's. That's when you know you really know me. Fire flavored kids patch. I've never heard of this. Thanks for dinner. <laughs> Angry watermelon. Whoa, that's kind of cool. I actually like this. My mouth is watering a lot. Now my camera is flashing at me. This is very good. I'm gonna close out here. You guys, thank you for all the love and the support, and you guys are amazing and you mean so much to me. We'll get this figured out on the S14. Thank you everyone who supports the channel, I can't thank you enough. I'm gonna cop some merch. There's a link in the description below, and you can also join my Patreon account. I'll put that in the description below as well. I'm gonna go eat my dinner now. <laughs> I love you guys, thank you so much for watching. Ikro, we out here with love. Bye! <laughs>